now. If they're scouting for every charm, you have no idea. And we're back, Transformers. Welcome to another episode of Transformers Trivia. We have a very special War for Cybertron Siege episode for you guys today. It holds a dear place in my heart. I'm very excited. But even more so, I'm excited for the contestants today. We have Aaron and Dale. Aaron and Dale, thank you guys for joining. And for those of you at home who don't know, Aaron was the voice of Prowl from War for Cybertron Siege. He was a fellow castmate of mine, and I'm incredibly honored to have him today. So thank you guys for joining. Um, why don't you tell us just a little bit about yourself, where you're from, uh, maybe one little fun fact. We'll start with uh, Dale. All right, so my name is Dale. Um, I'm from New Jersey, and I have loved Transformers like for as long as I can remember. <laughs> nice. And I have like a huge collection of them. Nice, show us, you were just showing us one of your figures. Why don't you show the, show the camera what you got there? And that had a G1 Prime. Nice. <laughs> but the war re-release. Nice. One day I hope that they can re oh, I hope that they can um, release the trailer for it. Oh yeah. And yeah. roller. Yeah. Cool. Well thank you. And Aaron, how about you? Just a little fun fact where you're from. Yeah, yeah. Uh Hi, everybody. I'm Aaron Beach. Uh, first of all, thanks for having me on, Sean. This is going to be a ton of fun. Dale, go easy on me. Uh, <laughs> I'm originally from Northern Illinois. I moved out to California about six and a half years ago. Um, as Sean mentioned, uh, voice of Prowl in Transformers War for Cybertron. Incredibly grateful and uh, geeking out just as hard as Dale over it, I think. <laughs> it's a fun time. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm, I'm really excited to have you guys. It is going to be fun. So you know the rules, we got 15 questions, multiple choice, 30 seconds each. You each have a 50-50, and then we'll go into our bonus wager round to see if uh, the underdog can steal the lead. Uh, but if you guys are ready to go, we're gonna jump right into question one. Let's do it. Let's do this. Okay, Netflix's uh, Transformers War for Cybertron Siege. Here we go, Transformers. Question number one. What was the name of Sound Blaster's mini cassette? A. Buzzsaw, B, Sundor, C, Garboil, or D, Wing Thing. The clock starts now. You have 30 seconds. What was the name of Sound Blaster? Can you repeat it for you? Yeah, can you repeat it. What was the name of Sound Blaster's mini cassette? Buzzsaw, Sundor, Garboil, or Wing Thing? And these guys are going to write their answers down, and then once they're ready, they're going to let me know, and I'll pause the clock. You got... Uh, I'm ready, but I think I'm wrong. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. We'll give it a shot. So we're going to stop the clock there. All right. Um, and, my answer. and folks at home, you can jot your answer to the question in the comments as, as well, and we'll see if you guys get it right. So this was, what was the name of Sound Blaster's mini cassette? Uh, Dale and Aaron, why don't you guys show your answers? What'd you put? I put A. Two A's. Well, would you believe it? You're both correct. The correct answer was Buzzsaw. Let's go. Nice. nice to go, bud. Let's go. <laughs> it's a great... I think the main way I remember that is from um, the War of Cybertron games and some of the toys from it. Oh, nice. So good crossover. So yeah, that... like um, War of Cybertron and Fall of Cybertron. Nice. Okay. Well, good job, you guys. That's the first question down. They've each got a point on the board. And we're going to go right into question number two. Aaron and Dale, here we go. Although the show was initially set to be released in June 2020, it was delayed due to production and COVID. What was the new release date? A, July 25th, B, August 1st, C, July 30th, or D, August 5th? The clock starts now. So this is the release date of Siege, July 25th, August 1st, July 30th, or August 5th? I'm sure Aaron has a pretty good idea on this. <laughs> <laughs> Dale, I'll never forget, guys, man. <laughs> Dale, you have 15 seconds, but don't forget you have your 50-50 too. You can always use that. I'm not, I'm not using that until I know that that I do not know something. Okay, five seconds on the clock. I, I got it. You got it. Okay, we're stopping there. Um, okay, you guys. So this was the because of the delay for Siege in June, the new release date. Let's see what you guys put for that. I put C. Well, hey. here we go. When you guys are doubling up, you've got it. C is the correct answer, <laughs> July 30th. Let's go. Nice. Okay, so two points on the board uh, for both Aaron and Dale, both 50-50s in play. No and Google, Dale. 
know. I can't even have up Google. I'm just kidding, man. I know. You guys are doing great. Um, okay. Let's jump into question number three. And we're going to see if someone's going to take the lead here. Uh, question number three. Here we go. When the show was being promoted, there were several motion picture posters depicting the characters in the show with each having a letter in the background. What is the name of that alphabet? A. Modern Autobot. B. Neo Cybex. Uh, C. Decepticon Graffiti. Or D. Ancient Autobot. So this is the background. Uh, in the background of those posters, there was an alphabet. Was it Modern Autobot, Neo Cybex, Decepticon Graffiti, or Ancient Autobot? We've got 20 seconds on the clock, and these guys are pushing hard. 15 seconds. Oh, well, I don't, I don't. 10 seconds. I got the right answer. And it looks like these guys Correct. have put something down. I'm gonna stop the clock there. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Well, let's see if you guys had it right. So this was when the show was being promoted. There were uh, several posters that had letters in the background. And we're curious, what is the name of the alphabet used? Uh, Dale and Aaron, let's see what you guys put. I put D. We had B and D. Okay, the correct answer was D, Ancient oh. Autobot. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> that was a guess. Well, it was a but good... I well done. That. <laughs> it was a good guess. It was a good guess. So Dale is My taking the lead. My graphic design friends are going to kill me. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> good job, guys. Okay, so Dale's, uh, Dale takes the lead for that. He's got three points on the board. Aaron with two. And we're jumping into question number four. And a uh, quick note for those of you guys at home. Again, you can comment your answers to the questions in the comments. See if you guys are right. You can also comment who you think the winner is going to be for this round. Is it going to be Dale or is it going to be Aaron? There's also a special prize at the end of this for the winner of the contest. And please, if you love what you're seeing, subscribe. And there's also an application in the About section. If you guys want to be on the show, we'd love to have you. So check that out. Remember to hit that bell. You never hit yeah, what? hit the bell too, so you know whenever there's a new upload. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys ready for question number four? Let's do it. Yep. Okay, here we go. Uh, let me reset the clock here. We've got... Question number four. Well, Alita One hadn't gotten a figure in the Siege line. She did get one in the new Netflix line of figures, but with a different weapon. What was the name of the weapon she has in the show? A, Acid Pellet Strike Blaster. B, SR Hush Fuse. Uh, C, RS Electronic Burst. Or D, RT Stethoscope Detector. The clock starts now. This is, what is the weapon Alita One had in the show? Acid Pellet Strike Blaster. SR Hush Fuse, RS Electronic Burst, or DRT Stethoscope Detector. They have 15 seconds on the clock. Both 50-50s in play. Boy, they look like they're sweating. What's happening? Oh, man. <laughs> yep. We've got... I see this, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, two, one, and the clock stops there. Uh, that's all right. These guys are pushing through. It's definitely these are some tricky questions, even for a voice actor who was in the show. I'm, <laughs> I'm sweating too. So we'll see. Um, okay. So uh, question number four: uh, What was the weapon that Alita One had in uh, Siege? Was it the Acid Pellet Strike Blaster, SR Hush Fuse, RS Electronic Burst, or D the RT Stethoscope Detector? Aaron and Dale, what'd you guys put for that? I didn't know, so I just put A. A and C. Okay, the correct answer for question number four was D, RT Stethoscope oh. Detector. <laughs> You're kidding. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was like, I was like, that, that can't be it. Same here. Like, like, I, 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 just, I, didn't, I didn't feel like that was it, because that sounded like something Perceptor would use instead. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I just like, well, kept... I don't know what it is, but I know which one it isn't. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> nope. <laughs> to me, it kind of the first image that comes to my head is doctor. So I'm like, well, that doesn't yeah. sa it doesn't sound right. But mm. yeah. Um. Okay. So we have Dale at three points, the big three. Aaron at two, just uh, pulling up the in the uh, right behind. <laughs> so we're gonna move into question number five. Um, here we go, guys. 
When Mirage uses his cloning ability in the third episode, what are the clones called? Now this is a sensitive topic, so you guys better get it right. <laughs> we have A, Shadow Clones, B, Mirage Clones, C, Illusory Clones, or D, Cyber Clones. This is what is the, with the cloning ability Mirage had in the third episode, what are the clones called? Shadow Clones, Mirage Clones, Illusory Clones, or Cyber Clones? 20 seconds on the clock. These guys are doing great. And let's see. I got a bad feeling all the remaining questions are going to be about Mirage, aren't they? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> got to take advantage of oh, yeah. I can. I'm thinking the same thing. <laughs> okay, five seconds, you guys. Five seconds. And the clock stops now. A, B, C, or D. Let's see what these guys got. This is question number five. Uh, what were the clones that Mir uh, Mirage used called? Shadow? Clones, Mirage Clones, Illusory, or Cyber. Aaron and Dale, let's see it. Don't kill me. I put D. I put D because it sounds a lot more like no Cybertronian. Mm, okay, well, sadly, and I'm very, very disappointed. <laughs> not, not, not that disappointed. Uh, <laughs> the correct answer was C, Illusory Clones. Yeah. Illusory clones. And that was my second choice. That was my second choice. That was a baby between those. Okay, well, that's all right. That's all right. I'll... I'll, uh, I'll let you guys slide on that one. <laughs> okay, guys, hope you're having fun. We're going to move into question number six. And here we go. The lights go down. When Bumblebee was paid for his scavenging efforts, what was the currency he was given? This is question number six. Was he given A, Energon chips, B, Cyber Keys, C, Energon stars, or D, Shanix? Clock starts now. This is what was the uh, currency given to Bumblebee for his scavenging efforts? Energon chips, cyber keys, Energon stars, or Shanix? Sorry, that last one. I'm like, isn't that the medicine to stop smoking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Chantix, Chantix. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Very similar. Okay. Oh, ten seconds, you guys. The clock's counting down, and we're at five. Uh, and the clock stops now. A, B, C, or D. Okay, okay. We're we're tripping them up a little. That means uh, I don't know what that means, yep. but let's see what happens. Um, means I should have studied. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Question number six: When Bumblebee was paid for his scavenging efforts, what was the currency he was given? Dale and Aaron, let's see what you guys put. I uh, put D. You put D and B. Okay. The correct answer. For the currency is D Shanix. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I d wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> like, like, like I, I knew it wouldn't be Energon chips because why is he being paid in Energon to get Energon? To get Energon chips, sure. Okay. Yep. Yeah, but I, and I know that's I know that's the currency in Generation One. Oh, okay. Good. Good. Well, you nailed it, Dale. You nailed it. You're up to four Smoking. points. And Aaron's got two points. It's still a close a close lead here. And we've got uh, some more questions to go. So here we go with number seven. When the virus is spread across Cybertron to reanimate the dead, what did the show call these new foes? A, the living dead. B, the sparkless. C, the reanimated, or D, the undead. This is when that virus spread across Cybertron. What were the new uh, foes called? The living dead, the sparkless, the reanimated, or the undead? 20 seconds on the clock. It looks like Dale has this one in the books. Aaron's writing down his answer. Guys at home, it's a tough one. Some of these are tough, so again, write in the comments. Let's see if you guys know your stuff. 10 seconds, and it looks like they're ready to go. Good to go, man. Okay. So, question number seven. Let's see what you guys put. Uh, B. I B. Both of you put. If you, got, if you guys can see it. Yep, two Bs, and the correct answer is B, the sparkless. All right. Good job. Good job. Yes. Yeah. I want to see toy set of all the sparkless. <laughs> Man, I was like, Dale, if you go up three points, I might as well just quit. <laughs> <laughs> There's still time, and don't forget the wager round is a good opportunity yep, to. I was about to say that. That's true. That's true. But we've got uh, some more to go. You guys are doing great. Uh, we've got Dale at five points, Aaron now up to three, and we're moving into question number eight. 
the episodes three and six of the show, which siege group, which siege group made a cameo appearance amongst the Decepticons in episodes three and six? Uh, the Datsun Trio, the Reconnaissance Team, the Rainmakers, or the Mercenaries? Clock starts now. Which Decepticon group made a cameo in episode three and six? Datsun Trio, the Reconnaissance Team, the Rainmakers, or the Mercenaries? 20 seconds on the clock. Um, the Datsun Trio, the Reconnaissance Team, the Rainmakers, mm. or the Mercenaries? 10 seconds on the clock. They both still have their 50-50 in play. I'm gonna use mine. Okay, Aaron's using his 50-50. Five seconds for Dale. And the clock stops yeah. now. Okay, so here's what's gonna happen. Uh, Aaron uses his first 50-50, which is gonna bring his options from four to two. But the first thing I need to do is have Aaron close his eyes, and I need to see um, Dale, uh, Dale's answer for this question. Can I say my answer just in case you can't really see it that well? Well, just put it up close. I want to, I don't want you to say it because I don't want Aaron to hear. Let me see if I can see it first, if I can. Oh. All right, that's good. Okay, go ahead. His eyes are closed. Okay, let's see. Okay, great. Thank you, Dale. So you can hide that. You saw and, it? Yep, I saw it. And then we're going to go back to Aaron. All right, cool. <laughs> Aaron, so here we go. We are going to give you two options. This is episode three and six. Uh, uh, which Decepticons made in a, a cameo? Was it um, uh, B, the reconnaissance team, or D, the mercenaries? All right, that helps. So you have 30 seconds on the clock, or you feel like you're good to go? I'm good. Okay, okay. I just wasted a 50-50, I think, but <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> might, have, might have helped you out. We'll see. Okay. Uh, go ahead. So, Aaron, you got B, and Dale had D. The correct answer was B, the reconnaissance team. Yes. The reconnaissance team. Hey, nice one. Thanks, man. <laughs> the only reason I knew that, I was like, wait, wait, wait. The mercenaries were definitely in episode five. Uh, can't be them. <laughs> <laughs> good, 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 good. Okay. Yeah, I, I didn't know the name of the team, to be honest. Oh, gotcha. Well, you guys are doing great. Aaron is uh, bringing up the lead with a point there, so it's five to four. And we're gonna move into question number nine. Are you guys feeling okay? Yeah, feeling good. Yeah. Okay. 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 Question number nine. Hold on, how are you feeling, Sean? Are you good? Oh man, I am. Yeah. I'm feeling great. I'm in a good groove. <laughs> are you kidding me? Getting to do this with you guys is so much fun. <laughs> And I don't have to like, I don't feel the pressure of not knowing because if I was on the other side, I'd, I'd be sweating. I really would. You know what? You should be on the other I, I, side I, I, for one I, I, of these. You should have someone else host and then yeah. we'll throw the tough questions at you. Let's do it. We'll do one. Yeah. You're going to host the show. I'll do one against somebody and I would love that. That would be great. Deal, sir. But no, no, only really the, cool. the only thing, I'll shake on it if it's all Mirage questions. Then I'm... <laughs> I'll make sure that like on some weird tangent it's related, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, I like the history of Mirage through all Transformers history. Oh, that'd be cool. That'd be cool. That's actually a good episode idea, Dale. Thank you. That's good. Okay, so here we go, guys. Um, we're back at it. Uh, question number nine. What is the name of the animation company that does the show? Is it A, Polygon Pictures, B, Rooster Teeth, C, Tatsunoko Production, or uh, D, Studio ACAP. This is, what uh, what animation company does the show? Is it Polygon Pictures, Rooster Teeth, Tatsunoko Production, or Studio ACAP? Now there's a trick in here, there's a trick in here. This yeah. is the animation company, not necessarily the production company. So let's see if you guys can get this one. We have 10 seconds on the clock. Dale still has his 50-50, and you guys at home drop those answers in the questions. Who do you think's gonna win? Five seconds on the clock. Three, two, one, pencils down. Okay, you guys, let's see what happened. Uh, what is the name of the animation company? Polygon Pictures, Rooster Teeth, Tatsunoko Production, or Studio ACAT? Dale and Aaron, let's see what you guys put. We've got an A for Aaron. And what do you got a B there, Dale? Yep. Okay. Well, you both were in the right vicinity. But the correct answer is A, Polygon Pictures. Polygon Pictures is the animation. Nice. That gives I would have been real embarrassed if I got that one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, hey, I wouldn't because I wasn't even on the show. 
That's right. You can get away so, with it. So I can't. I, so yeah, I wouldn't have to memorize that. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay, good job. So that, that brings Aaron to five points. It looks like we have ourselves a nice little tie, which always makes things interesting. Um, and we're moving yep. into question number 10. But they're still smiling, so we're doing something right. <laughs> yep. Okay. It is fun. Good, good. I'm glad you're having fun. Definitely. Okay, question number 10, guys. Here we go. Although making a short appearance in the show, what episode did Astro Train appear in? Was it episode 6, episode 5, episode 2, or episode 4? The clock starts now. This is Astro Train. He just made a short appearance, but in which episode was it? 6, 5, 2, or 4? Let's see if they can play it back in their heads. We've got 15 seconds on the clock. It looks like Aaron has his answer. Dale is grinding his teeth. What's it gonna be? Yep. 10 seconds. Dale, you still uh, have your 50-50? Uh, um, He's not doing it. Just yet. He's not doing it. Okay, the clock stops now. Okay, let's see how they did. So, Astro Train made a short appearance in Siege. Which episode was it? Six, five, two, or four? Let's see your answers, guys. We had an A, and Dale, I'm. it's a little too low. Let me just pull it up just a hair. Up there. Maybe you could just tell me. D. <laughs> D? Okay. The correct answer is A, episode six. Episode six. I knew it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good job, Sorry, guys. Dale. I have... Every bit of confidence, you'll come back. <laughs> good job, okay, Aaron. Hey, I'm not backing down. Yeah, it's a good, it's a good fair competition here. Um, Aaron's taking the lead now with six points. Dale's got five, um, and we're moving into question eleven. Okay, for the comms officer who appeared in several episodes of the show, whose character model did they use to depict him? Was it a sideswipe? Uh, B, Prowl, uh, C, Cog, or D, Ironhide. So this is for the comms officer who appeared in several of the episodes throughout the show. Whose character model did they use to depict him? Was it Sideswipe, Prowl, Cog, or Ironhide? They've got 15 seconds on the clock. Question 11. Hope you guys at home are having a good time. Remember to subscribe if you like what you're seeing. Go to that application in the About section. Apply to be on the show. We would love to have you. Special guests and special prizes and so much more. Three seconds on the clock. Here we go. Three. Can you read through them again one more time? I'll give you guys a second because I was talking. So <laughs> it is <laughs> Sideswipe, Prowl, Cog, or Ironhide. I'm going to give them five seconds here. Sideswipe, Prowl, Cog, or Ironhide. Three, two, one. Okay. So for the comms officer who was in several episodes, what did you guys put as the character they <clears> used to depict him? Can I show my answer? See, yep, let's see it. Dale, oh, it's just a little too low for me. What'd you put? It, I put C. C, okay. Well, it looks like these guys are back in the groove because C is correct. It was Cog. Good job, good job. Yeah, because I, I, <laughs> I, I, I remember seeing a recolored Cog. I remember seeing that. Oh, good, good. So it's just, yeah. Because I literally watched the entire show today. Oh, to okay, okay. That was good. Wow been hard at work yeah. you had school and you watched the whole show man did you sleep <laughs> he he skipped he skipped school told his mom he was sick and watched the entire show no i'm just kidding, I'm kidding. are you dale are you doing school at uh, home or are you going into class yes yeah. at home i'm doing it all at home how do you how do you like that is it is it do you like the freedom of that or would you rather be in the classroom yes you like the freedom i miss going to school well, I'd rather do it at home so I don't have to really worry about anything. Oh, sure. And plus, everything is due at a later time. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Well, it's kind of like being a full-blown adult because you're home, you have your work, and you get to choose when you're going to do it. <laughs> so it's, I guess, or suffer if you don't do it. <laughs> that's right, that's right. <laughs> All right, good job, guys. Uh, we're having fun. We're moving into question number 12. We're almost there. We're at the home stretch. Uh, when Optimus goes to seek help in episode four, who did he go to see? A, the Guardians. B, the Council. C, the Elite Guard. Or D, the Titans. Cock starts now. This is who did Optimus go see in episode four? The Guardians, the Council, the Elite Guard, or the Titans? Oh, 
little little silence just to see see the pressure Put the pressure on Put the pressure <laughs> 10 seconds 10 seconds this was the guardians the council the elite guard or the titans it looks like they're ready to go Okay, guys, what'd you put for who Optimus went to see in episode four? We have an A and A. Well, gosh, darn it, you guys got it right. The Guardians, A. <laughs> and also, I have one next. quick question. <laughs> yeah, I have one good question about the Guardians. Okay. Uh, like, I know obviously one is Omega Supreme, but, like, in, like, a bunch of other different Transformers universes, there's multiple of them that are like that like look extremely different from Omega Supreme, mainly uh, because Omega was the last one created. So do they all have like the same model, like how the Seekers have the same model as Starstream? Right. You know that's a good question. It, it kind of I, I mean I don't know, but for a lot of the different shows, they take some liberties in switching things up and doing different timelines and universes and whatnot. So I don't know if they switched it up or just wanted to show you that one character for Siege? I, I really don't know, but that's it's a good question. It's a good question. Okay. Better answer than I could give. <laughs> that's just the guess. Thanks honestly, for jumping on that, Sean. <laughs> yeah. It's just a guess, so I, I don't know. But that's kind of... It seems like they've done some of that stuff with, with War for Cybertron on Netflix. They've chosen some things to keep and not keep. And, mm -hmm. You know, so... Uh, yeah. Okay. We have Dale at seven points, Aaron at eight. It is neck and neck, as Aaron says, and we're moving into question 13. Um, amongst the huge crowds of Decepticons on Cybertron, a lot of generic Decepticons can be seen of existing characters with different paint schemes. Dale, this is actually a question that kind of feeds into your point. So which character yep. was not used as a duplicate character? Uh, a, Barricade, B, Brunt, C, Refractor, or D, Impactor. This is, uh, a lot of generic Decepticons can be seen of existing characters with different paint schemes. Which character was not used as a duplicate character? Barricade, Brunt, Refractor, or Impactor? And they have about 20 seconds on the clock. Barricade, Brunt, Refractor, or Impactor. How are you guys doing at home? Are you tallying up your points? Let's see if you guys are uh, know your War for Cybertron Siege. And I hope you're all excited for Earthrise, which will be coming out hopefully soon. We saw our first trailer. Five seconds on the I'm clock, so guys. I'm excited for that. It's going to be fun. And I'm so excited to watch that. It'll be Me fun. Me too. <laughs> yeah, we're excited to see. It's a long, as Aaron knows, it's a long process. You know, a yeah. year and a half ago, almost two years now, we did yeah. uh, Siege. And so it's really cool to see it all come together. And hard to keep secret. Is that long? <laughs> hard to keep secret. Yep, yep, yep. I was just focusing on Cyberverse then. Yeah, isn't that funny? And then that Cyberverse was probably a year or two before that, you right. know, when they were recording. So it's, it's a lot of work. But, um, Dude. yeah, <laughs> exactly, exactly. Um, okay, so guys, you're doing great. Let's see, question 13. What'd you guys put for the... A character that was not used as a duplicate. Uh oh. Okay. I put D. You put. Wait, I tell me. D, if you can see D. It. Okay, okay. The correct answer was B for Brunt. B for Brunt. Aaron. Sorry, Dale. Aaron stealing <laughs> a point. It's fine. Remember, I can still come back, but like, like, like yeah. the next one. We'll I'm, see what happens like, with the. I'm not backing down. There's still time to come back in the normal round, but also the wager round, there is time. So we have absolutely uh, nine points for Aaron. We have seven points for Dale. Question 14, here we go. While the show had used a lot of designs from the current toy line in order to keep the look of the figures, not everyone from the toy line made it into the show. Who from the toy line was not amongst the cast? A, Skytread, B, Cliff, Jump, uh, Cliff Jumper, C, Six Gun, or D, Astro Train? And if you were paying attention to some of the past questions, you'll know one of those will be a quick knockout. Clock starts now. This is, not everyone made it, uh, from the toy line made it in the show. Who from the toy line was not amongst the cast? This is Skytread, Cliff Jumper, Six Gun, or Astro Train? 20 seconds on the clock. Yeah, uh, it looks like he's got it. 
It's locked in. Dale's got this one. Aaron's thinking. I'm yeah. good to go. <laughs> okay, okay, they're good to go. I'm so curious what the rest of the blanket says. I think it's Spider-Man, but... Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> I forgot I had that up there. <laughs> nice. I was like, yeah. what, what is I it? I think I had that same blanket. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's my personal yeah. favorite. Yo, I have the same exact one. Oh, that's, oh, that's cool. awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's at, it's at my mom's house. Cool, cool. Yeah, I am a full-blown geek. Cool. I don't know if you saw it, too, in my coffee mug. Oh, nice. Yeah, Ninja Turtles. Nice. <laughs> I Dude, just I moved. All I have unpacked is, like, my geek stuff. I had to get that out first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, like I totally understand, like, like being into, like, all things, like, like way the geeks and nerds, because... That's like, right. <laughs> I mean, games, um, Transformers, as you can tell. Um, Ninja Turtles, Marvel, Horror, all Same that Same here, stuff. man. Nice. <laughs> Spider-Man is my favorite comic and, and movie. And, uh, Iron Man. Iron Man? Is Iron Man. Iron Man, yeah, well, Robert Downey does it pretty well. Uh, I mean, he does, I don't know if yeah. He does, he does amazing. Spidey's got to be my favorite superhero, but favorite comic character, I got to give the nod to Dr. Manhattan. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, nice. okay. It's cool. Nice. Cool. <laughs> Okay, guys, let's see what you got for uh, question 14. Was it who was in the toy line but was not amongst the cast in Siege? Was it Skytread, Cliffjumper, Six Gun, or Astro Train? Let's see what you guys put. I, I put B. Okay, we had a B and C. The correct answer was C, Six Gun. Six Gun was the correct answer. I don't remember seeing, no, I don't remember seeing Cliffjumper. Um... She you wasn't know, around long. Toys. <laughs> oh, in the toys? I've never seen Cliff Jumper it. You know, I, Dale, Wait. I'll double check on it after we finish. And if there's That's a, a fair point. If there's a, a mix up, um, it'll be like, you know, just like the election we're about to run into. So it'll be this whole, <laughs> this whole thing. And then there'll be a stir and, you know. Okay. But I'll look into it, Dale. Um, but let's move into question number 15. Uh, right. Here we go. This is the last question before we move into our wager round. Dale, you do have your 50-50, but remember, you can't use it on your wager round. So this is your opportunity to, to use it if you'd like. Yeah, then, then I'm going to be using it this round. Okay. <laughs> so uh, let's see what happens. What was the name of the location where Wheeljack found the Allspark? A, the Hydrax Plateau. B, Toggin Heights. C, the Sea of Rust. Or D, Mithril C, the clock starts now. And Dale, if you want to use that 50-50, just let me know. This is... Yeah, because I know this one. I know this one. You do? Okay. Okay, this is the location where Wheeljack found the Allspark, the Hydrax Plateau, Toggin Heights, the Sea of Rust, or Mithril C. And this is our final question, 15. How are you guys doing at home? Who do you think the winner's going to be? We've got Aaron at 10 points, Dale at 7, 5 seconds on the clock. And that's that. Okay, question 15, you guys. Let's see. The location where Wheeljack found the Allspark. Was it the Hydrax Plateau, Toggin Heights, the Sea of Rust, or Mithril Sea? Let's see what you guys put. Dale thinks Wait, he is he using his 50 50? Oh, no, yeah. you just you didn't want to use it, Dale? No. Okay. Yeah, I said before that. Oh, I okay. Do it. Okay, I think he, I think he might have gotten it. Let's see, let's see. Oh, you you guys, you guys, you nailed that question. Uh, the answer was C. Yep, see you real. Toggin Heights for where Wheeljack found the Allspark. Great work, great work. So that wraps up the 15 multiple choice questions. Uh, we're going to move into our bonus question. This is a written question. They have 30 seconds on the clock. And Wait, wait, Don, can you tell us the score? Uh, yes, the score is Aaron with 11 and Dale with 8. And this is actually the opportunity I'm going to give you guys to now choose how many points you want to wager before the question. So Ooh. let's start with Aaron. Aaron, choose any out of the 11 points to wager uh, before. He's we... got eight, you said? He's got eight. And what happens if there's a tie? If there's a tie at the oh. end, you both get the same amount of points. Well, I guess we have two winners. I haven't, we haven't crossed that bridge yet. But I'll, I'll, I'll All right, well then I will wager five to okay. uh, put you on the spot without yeah, having a tie if it thing. comes to that. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. So you want to do, how many you want to do, Dale? Five as well? I want to do five. Five, okay. Oh, wait, you're wagering five? Then I will wager two. Oh, you're trying to make it a tie? Five. Is that what you're trying to do? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay. Really? Uh, 
Nice. <laughs> Let's see. Well, come it all. Give, it, come on, give this your all, man. It all depends, though, on who's gonna get the question right, because it might exactly. Be... I could still get it wrong. We'll see. We'll see. Um. Okay, you guys. Bonus question for those of you at home in the comments. Go ahead and put what you think the answer is gonna be. Let's jump right into it. What is the name of the trans warp device that Ratchet was ordered to repair? This is in Siege. What was the name of the trans warp device that Ratchet was ordered to repair? Clock starts now. They have 30 seconds. Let's see, this is a written in question. What do you think it was? Oh boy, the tension's high. The points have been wagered. Is it gonna be a tie? Or is uh, Dale or Aaron gonna steal the lead and be the uh, the victory with high command today. 15 seconds on the clock. They're writing in their answer. Oh boy. Five seconds. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Three, two, one. And that'll wrap up the bonus round. Okay, Aaron with 11 points, wagering two. Dale with eight points, wagering five. And let's see what you guys put for the bonus question. This is, what is the name of the transwarp device that Ratchet was ordered to repair? Space Bridge. And what did Dale put? Space Bridge. Oh! Ho, ho. And it's a tie. It is an official tie. My devious ploy was a success. It, it worked. It worked. Congratulations to you both, Dale and Aaron. I'm so glad you guys were on the show today. You both did an excellent job, racked up a lot of points. You both are the victors today. I'm going to crown you high command and you go into the, the vault of Transformers trivia history. So, <laughs> so good job. Awesome, you, awesome. You both are gonna get to walk home today with a $30 Amazon gift card. So you oh, guys cool. can choose whatever you wanna get Dude. with that. You could get yourself uh, a new Transformers toy or uh, I don't know, anything you want, anything you want. So I will get in Dude. touch with you guys on getting that to you, congrats. And awesome. Thanks, Sean. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Of course. Tell your friends to be on the show if they ever want to be on it real quick. For those of you at home, please subscribe if you liked what you saw. We'll be back next week with another episode, some more special guests and uh, application in the in the about section. If you guys want to be on the show, please apply. We'd love to have you. We're accepting all fans, all walks, everything from the comics, series, movies, toys, beyond. So please join us. We'd love that. Okay. Sean, one more thing. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, please. If it's all right. Uh, Dale, I, I got a little something yeah. for you. We'll have to get some info from you oh, after we're okay. done here. But uh, uh, how would you like a, a signed Prowl figure? <laughs> oh, my God. Hey! Oh. Sure. <laughs> nice. Aaron, that was very nice. That is you. awesome. Thank you so much. You're very welcome, bud. Awesome. It was a pleasure playing against you. Thanks for going easy on me. <laughs> yeah. Dale, thank you so uh, much for being here. You. It was great to, to for both of us to get to meet you. Enjoy your prizes. Aaron, yeah, thank you so much for doing that. It was very, very kind. Sean, um, thanks for having me on, man. This was a ton of fun. Good, good. Okay. Yeah, like, this was probably, like, this is like the best kickoff to my favorite months. Like, oh, ever. nice. <laughs> I appreciate that. Like, 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 this is, Today and now is like just 10 times better. Great. That like I was even on this doing this for you guys. Like it means a lot. Oh good. Dale, thank you. That means a lot to us. So thank you. But Absolutely. We thank you guys both again for being on the show. Tune in next week for the next episode. And until then, Transformers roll out. You don't have a choice. It's the blood of all cars that turn into robots. It's worthless to me now. If they're scouting for Everjohn. You have no idea.